Two matches to go. Colin Moore ranked number one in the country. Three-time All-American and NCAA finalist a year ago for the Bo Nickel of Penn State. And for Arizona State's Cordell Norfleet, he's ranked 14th in the country. And these two guys had a pretty tough match already this season. They really did. I mean, it was Cordell Norfleet, I think it took him to the third period to understand that he can go with more. And uh, he came close to tying up the meet at the end. Out at uh, Cliff King. But I think he was going, hey, I can go with him. And it was too late. So we'll see here the adjustments by both wrestlers. Colin Moore gets a nice round of applause as he makes his way on the center stage. Look at a good look at Norfleet there. He's really good when he gets going. These two met at the Cliff Keen in Vegas. It was five to three. Moore with the victory. And Norfleet with a quick takedown seven seconds in. And it was a match that in talking with Zeke Jones, Norfleet came off the mat and said, you know what? I had more to give out there. He lost it five to three. He, he went for a takedown in the third period. He was out of bounds. That would have tied the match. That was the closest he got to a takedown, too, in that match. He didn't even get close to Moore until the end. Then he realized, I can. Boom! Comes out here, takes Moore down in, in the first few seconds. Something he wasn't even getting close to the last time they met, except at the last. So, short memory for Norfleet. But right now, the attack rate for Moore is always so high. And we'll see what happens because he needs to get back on his attack. Colin Moore, he's an attack machine. He loves to, does, both these guys change levels, create angles really nicely. Colin Moore, TJ, averaging 14.6 points per bout, not including pins. That is unbelievable. Plus 129 combined point differential. That is incredible. Come on, you gotta will yourself to forget it. Three-time Big Ten finalist. Two-time Big Ten champion. Yeah, I, I, the, the uh, tunnel's narrow, narrowing here. I mean, the time's now. Uh, Colin Morris focused. He's been very, very close. Runner-up last year, and he, uh, he's got his mind set on one thing. He knows he needs to come out. His job's to come out and get after it. Never more important than right now, here at home, in this close meet. Ranked number one in the country out of Burbank, Ohio, became Norway High School's first ever state champion. Here's Moore with his opportunity, single leg. So many things. Oh, hey, that's two. Thing, but so many things that Moore did right there. He held up Norfleet's leg with his right hand right there as he adjusted and drove back in. Tremendous, tremendous chain wrestling. He took about the three different moves there and continued moving forward, finding the angle and attacking and got the two points. Both guys with a takedown. Here's a shot from Moore. Now Norfleet changing direction. Counter two more for the Sun Devil. Really good level change by Norfleet. I just like the adjustment he made. He's going to be careful here. It does hit a five count, so a stalling warning on Norfleet. That was great work on that last takedown. Yep, you see Tom Ryan there say, let's go, let's go, let's get the, get the moving going. And so he got caught flat-footed, but uh, Norfleet, very, very quick, great level change there. I just love TJ watching guys wrestle. Let it fly. Put on a show for the fans. Get after it. That's what we're seeing in this match. These two are. Nice job of kicking out, but nice job staying down. And no matter if you get stuck or not, he's going to get a one point for more because he's stuck below the hips. That's one point. He had the warning for the same violation a, a, a few seconds ago. Nice. Uh, savvy, Matt Savvy by Moore. Moore just putting his weight on yeah. Norfleet, not allowing him to work up. We got ourselves a 5-4 match here in this first period. Tons of fireworks. Quick sit off the whistle there from Moore. Does it again and escapes. We're not at five. This has been a really fun duel tonight. Ohio State leading 14-13. This match at 197. 
And then heavyweight. They did get after it. Here's Moore's first takedown. Drove through. See that right arm? He picked it up, and so now he's on the single leg. Trips back, drives through, fangs the angle, covers for the two. Here's Norfleet's second. I thought uh, Moore had it, but he reacts off that front headlock and then comes back and drives through for the double leg two. Norfleet has 50 seconds of riding time as Moore begins second period on bottom. See if he's able to work on top. Yeah, Moore these started kind of on the right side, so yeah. Good hand control, came up, kept going. Back pressure by Moore, hand control out for the escape. I believe this is uh, Moore's first lead in this match, up by one, six to five. Moore, junior world bronze medalist, U23 silver. Qualified for the Olympic trials as a runner up at senior nationals. Lost a tough one to Hayden Zilmer. Zilmer stormed back and stole it late over Moore. We talk about Matt Savvy, uh, I was watching that match, and Zilmer was done. Moore could have won, but Zilmer knew to get his head out of bounds, which then they call, the, um, call him back to the center because one more uh, exposure and it was over, came all the way back from 9-0. Or nine point lead. Five seconds left, a one-point match. Yeah, and the feet aren't moving as fast for Norfleet right here, and Moore able to uh, snatch the right leg. He's looking to how he wants to finish it. Is he going to run the pipe? Is he going to drive through for the double leg? Got to bring it back in. Give yourself some room to work with. Real important 20 seconds here, 15 seconds for Norfleet, not Huge to give it up. Drive through, nice job, great edge of the mat, end of the period, takedown. He did everything right there. Moore getting the two at the edge of the mat, rides out, looks like he's gonna finish on top, three seconds ride when they come back to the center. That was a huge takedown, Moore stayed patient, scores it inside of 10 seconds, widens the gap, now up by three, now airing. On FS2, it's women's college basketball, Texas at Iowa State's. The Longhorns and Cyclones again. That is airing right now on FS2. Great period. Yeah, great sequence for Moore getting the takedown at the edge of the mat, at the end of the period, ending up on top. He's battled back, and I, you know, even though it was a freestyle, even though it was the, uh, the U.S. Open, I think Moore has an, I don't care how far I'm ahead, I have got to finish. And uh, so right now, I think uh, Moore's gonna um, have a good last period here. Norfleet moving, not like he was in the first period. You watch his footwork, as you mentioned, Slow down a little bit, he's down by two, riding time, a non-factor, another leg attack in on a single leg. Norfleet looking to roll him through, but like a dog on a bone, Moore stays with him. Yeah. The takedown 10-6. Moore's got more left here in the third period, and um, it's not because Norfleet doesn't want to, I'm real impressed with Cordell Norfleet. He has got a lot of talent, but uh, he's going to just keep getting better as, his, as he understands what it means to win in close matches. But boy, does he have talent. But, you know, it, it's, it's, it's uh, Colin Moore's time in his head. The time is now, and he is focused. Final 55 seconds here at 197. Most likely, this will come down to the big guys at heavyweights. Fan favorite for Ohio State. Gary Traub, this place will erupt when he comes out. And Tanner Hall, a veteran for ASU. Still plenty to be determined in this duel with Ohio State and Arizona State. Half a minute is Colin Moore from his 98th victory of his career. The three-time All-American looking for that national title. 
Yeah, Kong Morrow is doing a nice job there of keeping Norfleet in front of him. And he really was maybe an ill-advised uh, uh, attempt right there because Moore does a great job of keeping him in front. And that's all he needs to do. He's not the one with the warning, the stalling. He just needs to keep Norfleet in front of him and hear it again. And boy, great effort. Um, great win by uh, Moore, but uh, Norfleet, he's the real deal. I commend both these guys. 11-9, yep. they combined to put 20 points on the board here at 197. This is the kind of style, this is the kind of wrestling that gets people excited. It's fun to watch. Well done by both guys to let it fly.